Ooh, we're talking about moths. Talk about moths. Because they're all over the internet. Which has me pretty excited because then I get to talk about bugs. It's not the pinnacle of human com comedy, but I'll take any excuse I can get. Moths belong to the vastly diverse order known as Lepidoptera, which also includes those sweet, sweet butterflies. And on a wee bit of a tangent, I just have to say to the world that it's not the adult moths themselves that eat your clothes. It's their wee little babbies. Those cute chubby grubs. Those little rascals can use the fibers for a variety of things, from food to building the framework of a chrysalis. It's often blamed on the adults because they're the most conspicuous and visible, but all they really have to work with is the goofy proboscis. That would be like trying to eat Wheaties with a, a, a coffee straw. I know it's not a lamp thing, as is the focus of the video, but that little, little pet peeve I needed to clear up. The big question of the day is, why do moths go bonkers for artificial light sources? It's a phenomenon mankind has been aware of for ages and recently has been made into a meme. It's especially interesting because moths are such an olfactory focused animal. Their sense of smell is phenomenal, honed to seek out mates from miles away. That's all thanks to their intricate d antennae, designed to allow them to perceive smell in stereo. Some farmers use this to their advantages when keeping moths away from their orchards, by planting multiple sources of pheromone-laced plastic ties to confuse those frisky boys into being unable to mate effectively. I will now demonstrate what it's like to be a moth. <laughs> so if these goofy poofs are so smell-centric, why be bamboozled by lights? It's all about that twice fresh navigation. Nocturnal moths use the moon as a visual anchor of sorts to keep their bearings when flap foodling around looking for a mate and dodging bats. If you want to sound impressive to some lady types, you can refer to this as transverse orientation. The lamp deal isn't so much based on a bizarre attraction as much as it's the moth's instinct screaming at him to take a turn. When the moth is designed to use the moon that, relative to the moth, remain still in one spot, having a bright source of light that shifts position relative to yours can be vastly disorienting. While reading up on moths, I recently ran into an article by, uh, 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 ooh, Science Mag, that some species of moths are changing their behaviors because of anthropogenic lighting. This has also led to said species being less effective pollinators. Is this something we should be worried about? Not yet. So there you have it. Your big answer for lamp. It's yeah, it's cause I think it's the wood.